Hi everybody, my name is Raphael Levy and I'm here to talk about the new node by Bright Data for N8N. So step one, let's go ahead and add, add the node to N8N, search for it and click install the node. Uh, you will need an API key from your Bright Data account, so go ahead and log into your Bright Data account, go to account settings and make sure you have an API key ready. Let's go back to the N8N platform. So here we have the node and let's talk a little bit about the options that we do have here, right? So we have a marketplace data set, which basically reflects the web, uh, data set marketplace that we have in the control panel of Bright Data. Uh, we have web scraper actions. We have basically web scrapers, right? So same thing as web scraper library we have in the, our control panel. And we have web unlocker, which is basically the proxy web unlocker right send a request to the url get the html back now let's go one by one marketplace data sets right so we have a few actions that we can do with the marketplace data set and the way i would approach it is a list available data sets and let's go ahead and actually do this thing so step one let's create the new credentials make sure you copy paste the api key from your bright data account get a green light set up good to go and let's go ahead and list the data sets that are available here. You will have all the data sets that are available for your use, right? There's over 100, 164 data sets that you can use. For demonstration purposes, we're going to be using Amazon products. We've got about 300 million records in it. And the next step is we need the metadata, right? We need to filter the data set by some fields. So let's check what does this data set have? What... Uh, what the fields, right? So we have title, seller name, brand, description, and so on, right? We have lots of different, well, a lot of data available per product. And let's say that we want a specific brand, right? So the next step would be is filter the data set, right? So I want to filter the data set, Amazon products. The field name is going to be brand. The value will be, I don't know, let's say Bose, right? That should be so brand equals Bose. What this will do is it will look for all the Bose products in this data set. This provides me with a snapshot ID. And with this snapshot ID, I can later check already what is the status, right? So let's see, get snapshot content, right? So this is how you would download the snapshot content. Now it's not ready yet. We did talk about that it's huge. It's 300 million products. It's gonna take a few minutes to filter through it and create the snapshot itself. But once it's ready, this is how you would download it. Boom, and then, create a next node, process the data, and so on, whatever your flow is. Now, the next product I want to talk to is Web Scraper. For the Web Scraper, we are going to be using the same Amazon product, right? So, again, the Web Scraper is here, Web Scraper library. We have different pre-built uh, pre collectors that you can use, so let's stick with Amazon product. So we chose Web Scraper, Scrape by URL. We can also trigger collection. So if you have one URL, you can use Scrape by URL. If you want to trigger, you can use multiple. So I will demonstrate the difference, right? So for this purpose, I'm going to use this product URL. As you can see, we have here the product. Scrape by URL. So basically, this will right now trigger a collector. It will go to this page, and it's going to extract the data that is now live uh, on Amazon itself, right? So it will take a few seconds and it's going to provide us the data back. We can check the JSON format, whatever the format is, fits you. Here we have all the data. Another way of going about it is we can trigger our collection, right? So what this will do, this will provide us with a snapshot ID, right? So let's say you have a thousand, 10,000 URLs that you want to process. It might take a few minutes. You don't want to sit there and wait. Uh, you get a snapshot ID. With the snapshot ID, I can get monitor progress, right? So I enter the snapshot ID, monitor the progress. Now it's ready already because obviously it's only one URL and it took seven seconds. But if we're talking about 10,000, 100,000, whatever the scale is of your operation, right? Uh, it might take a little bit longer. Here you need to make sure that it's ready. Once it's ready, you can download the snapshot the same way. We have a snapshot ID. Boom, and it will get the data. And um, you can also send the data. Oh, it's still building. 
So uh, you can also deliver the snapshot, right? So if you want to deliver the snapshot, let's say you're fully automating, you want to webhook, boom, send to webhook, webhook will trigger the next step, right? So you don't have to loop through it or create any kind of wait. Uh, next step is webhook. Once webhook receives data, continue the flow, right? So this is another way of going about it. And the third product is web unlocker. Web unlocker is basically, I'm going to also use the same URL as I used for the web scraper. It's a product that will get you the data from any URL, practically any. Um, make sure that in the zone, you select your unlocker zone. So here in the proxy, I have the unlocker zone and web unlocker API. And here we can choose what country peer I want to use. Obviously different geolocations can provide back different results. So for the demonstration purposes, I'm gonna be using a US peer I'm just going to run through my unlocker zone and let's execute. Now, this will not give me back the parse data. This is going to give me the, uh, the raw HTML. This is HTML is huge. I'm not going to try to show it to you guys, but you can then send this HTML to the next node that will parse the data. You can send it to an AI agent that will extract the data from it, whatever you want to do with it, right? So also, if, for example, we don't have a pre-built scraper for the website that you're interested in, go ahead, use the web unlocker and get the data set up, right? So basically these are the three um, products that are available in the Bright Data Node, Marketplace Dataset, Web Scraper API, and Web Unlocker. And just to show you, this is basically Web Datasets is here. If you wanna browse it through the control panel, Web Scrapers are here if you want to browse them also through control panel and the proxy setup is here the unlocker now i hope this will help you guys build better products and better build um, better flows and uh, good luck have, enjoy your build